next fight of the night, a welterweight clash, 77 kilos between Andre Liu from Chinese Taipei and Li the Leech Jingliang from China. As you mentioned earlier, Mike, Li Jingliang dropping down to 77. He also has a height advantage and the superior striker by far. So it looks as though Li has all the advantage here as we head into this fight. Although we have underrated Chinese Taipei fighters before, Vaughn. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Andre Leo, a team member of Legend Zone, Justin Lee, who's supposed to be a grappler and ended up knocking out striker Kenny Lee. Let's see what Andre's got in, in his bag of tricks. Lee crawling his way down from 84 kilos to 77 for this fight. Looks noticeably thinner, that's for sure. He told me he feels stronger, feels faster, and I gotta say he looks better at this way. He, he does look stronger. Lee in the black tights. Will make the ladies happy. And Liu in the camouflage and black shorts. Liu goes for the takedown. And a guillotine there by Lee attempt. Really put some weight on that first up. How can Liu get out of this? Liu's in trouble. Yeah, he's grimacing. That's not looking good for Liu at this stage. Still a bit of room there, perhaps. In the hold. As Lee takes what a it surprise, down. what a surprise. I know, although he's got a stand-up background, Lee has been working with expert jiu-jitsu coach Rui Menezes. What Leo's got to do is put his hand over the head and shoulder of Lee, keeping the pressure on his face. If Lee can push away with his legs, he can cinch up the choke and finish the fight. He's going to be too tired to finish Boy, will be Bursting with pride, he's just there, centimeters away from his protege. If he can make this one stick. And Leo's out of there. Well done from the Taiwanese. One thing Lee has to worry about now is has he gassed out his arm? Is his arm full of lactic acid? Probably. Yeah, he's giving it a good old shake. A la a rock climber, trying to release some of that acid as they restart in the middle. Well, maybe not his preferred way, but on the ground where Leo wants it to be. So you've lived in uh, Chinese Taipei for a while, Vaughan. You know much about Andre Liu? Well, I know a little bit about him. In fact, I've also trained with his opponent, Lee. And I would say definitely the grappling advantage should go to Lee, although he was caught in a tight situation just recently. The striking advantage... I'm sorry, did I say it? The grappling advantage go to Leo. The striking advantage goes to Leo. Good knee there from Leo. We know Leo likes chicken feet. We saw him munching on them for dinner last night. <laughs> so I was expecting a bit of dancing and prancing around the ring, but no chance for that. Right off the bat, getting himself into trouble, but extracting himself well. But again, is he having trouble with his head? Is his head getting too far over the bottom? This is dangerous for Leo on the bottom. Some sort of leg hold there. Right now, Leo is going for an arm bar. The problem is now is Lee is just too strong. Here's the plan. Oh. Man, it's got to hurt. Now Lee's in trouble. Lee's got stuck in a triangle. Can he pick him up and slam him from here? Oh, gutsy effort from Liu underneath. Triangle, the, the triangle lock is open now. Lee is not in so much danger. He's not being choked anymore. This is a very technical fight so far, Vaughn. Yeah. Got it. It's got to be punishing though on the body that dropping from a height like that for Liu. You hear local, local Kowloon grappling Phenom Frankie in the corner telling, telling Leo to let go of the choke. Determined though, isn't he? Oh, it's back in. Lee really needs to stand up and get out of this position. Giving Leo space to smash the head. Two big slams. Leo's in trouble. Yeah. That's three slams to the ground, and he's looking as though the fight's over. Swallowed his tongue, perhaps. Lee getting in nice and fast to rescue him there. Great sporting behavior there from the Chinese fighter. Well, what do we rate? Do we rate his looks? Or do we rate his fighting ability, Vaughn? Well, one thing we can rate for sure is his crowd appeal. Win or lose, everyone loves Li Jinlian. Looks like he's been taking a leaf out of the book of some of these Korean fighters that we saw in LFC 2 and giving the crowd a real treat.
Let's take a look at uh, the last moments of this fight because Liu had his moments here. I wonder if these slams affected Lee's, uh, Leo's neck. Oh, look there's it. no doubt. Yes. That's a nasty oh. angle. And that ring is very unforgiving, that's for sure. That's the last stanza of them. And that's the third drop from height there for Liu. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Andrew Wong Ki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes 42 seconds of the first round. Penguin Andrew Wong Ki has a chance to get 3 minutes 42 seconds of the first round. Yi Kei Su Keo Yi Seng Chuk Hai. For the winner by technical knockout, Li Jing Liang! Well, that was an authoritative performance from the Chinese fighter born. Yeah, well, I can say that Lee definitely looks a lot better at 77 kilos. I think he should stay here.